today we are going to discuss the notions of proximity or nearness. I am Dr. Shahriar Hussain. You are watching a video of our data science lecture series. Given that you can place your data in this space, you can measure how near a point is to another in this space. The concept of nearness or farness in this space is known as proximity. Proximity is quantified in two ways, by computing distance and by computing similarity between two vectors or two data points. Now, what do we mean by distance? Distance refers to how far is a data point from another in the space. Given two vectors or two data points, you can always compute the distance. We will discuss a few distance measures in the upcoming videos. Before discussing how to calculate the distance between a pair of vectors, we need to explain what distance really means. Many of us use the word distance when we are really referring to dissimilarity. It is not a big deal most of the times. However, it might be a big deal to many algorithm designers because certain algorithms require certain proximity properties to function properly. A distance formula must satisfy four axioms that we are going to discuss now. Number one, distance between point P1 and point P2 should be always greater than or equal to zero. That means the distance between two points can never be negative. Property number two, if the distance between P1 and P2 is zero, then it means that P1 and P2 are the same points. Property number three, the distance between P1 and P2 is equal to the distance between P2 and P1. Property number four, distance between P1 and P2 is always smaller than or equal to distance between P1 and P2 via another point. This property is called triangle inequality property. The length of one side of a triangle cannot be greater than the sum of other two sides. If I come up with a distance measure that does not satisfy one of these properties, then we cannot call that distance measure a distance. We should call that measure a dissimilarity measure. When coming up with a new distance measure, the fourth property is the hardest to satisfy. You might be wondering why do we need to study distance or similarity measures? Proximity is the key to many data science problems. Many data science algorithms somehow rely on the space created by data and how close or far data points are from one another to recognize or discover patterns in the data. This is the reason why we learn distance and similarity measures in the beginning of any data science course. Let me tell you about some problems that require proximity measures between data points. Problem 1. We might have a data set with 100 columns and 10,000 rows. Given a row, that is a vector or a data point or an object, how can we find the rows that look similar to the given row? The problem is called finding the nearest neighbors of a given data point. Problem number two, given a large data set of 5,000 columns and 1 million rows, how can we group vectors that have similar values? The problem is commonly called a clustering problem in data science. There are many other data science problems for which computing distance or similarity is a building block of the respective solution. What is the relationship between a distance and similarity? A large distance between two vectors refers to a small similarity between the same two vectors. A small distance indicates high similarity. Therefore, similarity and distance are two opposite measures to quantify proximity. Let us get back to one of the datasets we are familiar with. Both the data table and the corresponding space are shown here. 
The two features are age and salary. Notice that Jane and Dave have almost the same salary, which is 90,000, and age, which are 52 and 53. As a result, the corresponding points for Jane and Dave in this space drawn here are very close, indicating high similarity between the objects or small distance between them. The rows for Delilah and Dave are quite different. That is, their rows have low similarity. That also means that the data points have a high distance in the space, as observed in the plot here. When you have high dimensional data, that is, when your data has more than three dimensions, you cannot really plot the data for visual inspection. You will need some formula to compute distance between high dimensional vectors. We will discuss several distance and similarity measures in the future lessons. Meantime, subscribe to this channel and press the bell shaped button to receive notifications when we publish new videos. I'll see you next time.